on YouTube. It's your boy like back with another YouTube video, and um, yeah, today we're doing it. Uh, we're doing an episode nine, the Marshall review, uh, of the Mandalorian season two. Um, I just have to say this first of all, this episode was really great. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was like one of the best episodes of the Mandalorian, in my opinion. Like I, this 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 episode really. I really liked it. I was like a huge fan of it. Um, if the rest of the season's like like this, I think the season two is gonna be really good. But yeah, um, so yeah, what's there to talk about? Okay, so we got a few things to talk about here. We got Cobb Vanth. Um, sorry if you hear that strange sound. That was just my. See there, a picture of Cobb Vance is right there. I have kind of like a slideshow kind of deck kind of open. But yeah, you can see him in his Mandalorian armor over there. And yeah, you can see it over here. Um, The Sand People thing is over here. So yeah. Uh, The first thing we see here, we see Mando and he's just killing people. And all that Um, in some like underground place. In, um, I'm not exactly sure what the planet was, I can't remember, but yeah, um, so, uh, yeah, he was there, uh, he was looking for another Mandalorian, he told them, Tatooine, there's a Mandalorian there, guess they're not really a Mandalorian, it's just Combat wearing Boba Fett armor, um, the Mandalorian wants some armor back, but he's just like, uh, help me out, I'll give it to you. The sand people, the villagers, and all that, all fight, um, like this huge slug thing, I can't remember what it's called exactly. Um, but yeah, pretty cool, um, in my opinion. Really great episode. Um, so yeah, um, that was well done. Right from the get-go, I liked how they played, um, the way it was where the guy was staying, saying, Telling the Mandalorian, go to Tatooine, you'll find someone there. And I think it's Mos Polito. I'm sorry if I butchered the name or said it wrong. Um, but yeah, you can see there, he gets there, and he's like, oh, the Mandalorian. But he realizes that's not a Mandalorian, that's just some random guy. And then he's like, give me the armor, because... Um, because, uh, he's not a Mandalorian, and he thinks that it's his right to take the armor from him because he's not really Mandalorian. He doesn't follow the creed. So, yeah. One question I have, maybe we'll get answered in season two, or, I mean, next episode or episode after that, is does the Mandalorian know who Boba Fett is? That's the real question I have. Because if he knew... Maybe he would have been like, that belongs to Boba Fett or something. Or else, or maybe he doesn't know or something. Or maybe even the armor would tell him that. Maybe, maybe um, just so you know, potential spoilers, just skip like 20 seconds. But yeah, maybe the, he brings the uh, Boba Fett armor back to but, um Navarro, the armor tells him that that belongs to Boba Fett. Maybe that's what happens. Um, maybe it goes back to Cop Vanth or whatever. So yeah, I really like that part. I this this um this episode really gives me a lot of cowboy vibes because he's they were about to have like a shootout in the bar or whatever that is, which it would have been cool. But I honestly didn't want to see either of them die. Obviously, the Mando wouldn't die, but. I didn't want to see Cobb Vant die, honestly. I think he's a really cool character, in my opinion. Um, and, uh, yeah. It was really cool seeing them fight alongside each other with the Sand People. It really reminds me of, like, kind of like a Cowboys and Indians vibe kind of thing. Um, yeah, because as you can see, the Mandalorians talking with the Sand People, and they say they want to deal with the thing, too. 
So they join forces. And yeah, it really gives you, the Mandalorian gives you a really good ex perspective of the Sand People in terms of like, most humans think he's, they're savages and they just want to kill everybody and all that. But the Sand People, in their opinion, think that the humans are on their planet and um, like they're, they're taking their stuff and they have to fight back or something. But yeah, um, so yeah, I find that kind of strange. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, the Sans Slug or whatever it's called. Um, pretty cool. Um, I, I, that part was really well done. Um, and yeah, you could see the, by the end kind of Mandal the Mandalorian, uh, Dinger and, um, things that Cobb Vanth is is a pretty good uh, person and stuff. He even thinks that if he dies there, he could take care of the child. So that 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 was really cool in my opinion. Um, and then yeah, and then the sand people learn to trust the villagers and vice versa. And I, I want to talk about the ending real quick, but um, I just want to say something. I really hope they fix the costume for Boba Fett. Just because I dislike the way. Because the way the costume looks. It looks very strange in my opinion. Because I wish he. That um. Like Cobb. It kind of. It just looks strange because of his height. And stuff. I really hope he goes back to like his regular costume or something. Because I think that looks much better. Um, just the red doesn't look that well good, so yeah, that's the reasoning for that. Um, but yeah, and also from my um knowledge, apparently this cop van stuff is uh, um coming back coming from um a book or something that came out back in the like nineties or something. But yeah, um, so that's that's happening. Um, they're finally doing stuff based on books, so that's pretty cool, um, and yeah. Now I just want to talk about the ending real quick. At the ending, we do see who I'm going to assume is Boba Fett. I'm pretty sure that's Boba, I'm like 95% sure that's Boba Fett. It would just be completely strange if that was Rex, or something, or something. I don't know. Yeah, so what, what I was saying, sorry about that. Um, But yeah, we saw, I'm pretty sure that's Boba Fett, but I think there's like a 5% chance that it could be Rex, but I, I'm pretty sure it's Boba Fett for sure. But yeah, um, the reason why I question it is because I think Rex is supposed to be in the Mandalorian. I have no clue. Uh, it could be. I could have heard something, but I'm not sure. So yeah, don't come after him if he's not in it or something. But yeah, um, uh, so yeah, and uh, Boba Fett, I'm thinking he's coming back for revenge or something. I have no clue. I don't know if he's gonna be a good guy or bad guy in the show. Honestly, to be honest with you, if he's gonna help the Mandalorian or if he's gonna try and kill the child, I have no clue. I think maybe what's gonna happen. Is the Mandalorians gonna realize they're gonna meet? The Mandalorians gonna give him his armor. Boba Fett's not gonna know what's happening. He's just gonna take his armor. And what I think he's gonna do is he's gonna leave. Maybe even help. And once he realizes the Empire's after, he might try and steal a child or something and join the fight to get the child. That's what I'm thinking might happen. I have no clue. So yeah, um, that's basically it for me um, on this video. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next upload. Peace.